Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Shoe Snob Unboxing video series, One Take Wonders. Here we are with something very new, very unique, and very different. Uh, it's kind of interesting how everything kind of falls into place and how the more I do the videos, the more people are interested in highlighting and showcasing their brands, which is great. Uh, I find this a very fun way to kind of expose new brands in the marketplace, and I'm happy to do my best to try to show them via this video format. So some of you guys may have heard of this brand. Many of you may have not. Um, it's going to be another one of those tough brands to pronounce. It is French. And I know that the way you read it is definitely not how they say it, but here we go. So the brand in my best French pronunciation would be Atelier du Tranché which in English writing looks like Atelier du Tranchette. So, sounds so much better in French. But uh, anyway, Atelier du Tranché uh, is a brand uh, created by uh, Christophe Corte. Now, forgive me because I didn't do as much research as I should have prior. I want to say there's another gentleman involved, but at the moment, I don't have that background info. I do believe I've written about it on the blog before, so do check it out there. But I definitely, you know, I, I'm in contact with Christophe Corte. Christophe Corte, for those of you who may not immediately recognize that name, is the brother of Pierre Corte, who was the founder of Maison Corte, Corte Shoes. So uh, Christophe Corte used to work for... Uh, Maison Corte, so I'm getting confused saying Corte left and right. Uh, but, you know, when uh, powers that be take over brands, things change, and Christophe had different ideas of his own and wanted to have a run at his own brand. And I tell you, his brand is definitely making some of the most unique, if not the most unique, shoes in the shoe industry. Very bold extremely unique ideas not for everybody but cool inspiring again bold beyond belief and uh yeah some really interesting things christoph is also an amazing bespoke shoemaker uh and does really well every year in the bespoke shoemaking competition i really like his creations so so much uh art that goes into them he's a real he's a real talented artist, designer, uh, and at the end, a shoemaker as well. He does, he does it all. So, uh, yeah, great, great, great person to have in the industry. We need more like Christophe Corte who aren't afraid to push the envelope and, and do, you know, freedom of their expression via their medium art and produce things that nobody else is. These happen to be something like that. More on the tame side, to be honest, and you'll probably laugh at the fact that I describe these as tame, but tame comparatively speaking. So let's take a look. It's quite the box. This is like 15 inches by 15 inches. So it's, it's, quite, a, uh, it's quite a box. Let me just show you the logo there. It's cool. A little T. We got black and red as the color combinations. You can see black, red nice tissue so now when you open it up you have the shoes and then this little box here and inside the little goodie box is a cleaning shampoo a suede or nubuck brush and it looks like that is all nice little details there let's put that back very cool box we got shoe bags now let's take a look at what's really there all right so outside of being a bespoke shoemakers who, who shoemaker who makes some very cool dress shoes it would appear that uh christophe also has kind of a 
a love for basketball style shoes, but with his very strong personal twist to them. He loves high tops. He has two pairs of high tops. These ones are called the Dragon Fury, as you can see with the embroidered dragon there, uh, embroidering that uses 10 needles at a time. Very cool stuff. Unique. Uh, so yeah, so Christophe has two sets of sneakers. The other ones are even far more unique, far different, like something I've never seen before. These ones for me are a little bit more tame, maybe in the sense that they're, you know, it's an all black, uh, new buck sneaker with a gold trim and some dragon embroidery. That's not, that's not so out there in my eyes. I mean, you see these sneakers in the streets these days and they're far more, weird and out there these to me are cool um i don't know maybe i like some of that you know kind of art but not over the top art so it's like soft art but it's an all black sneaker which for me is easy to wear um immediately what i liked about these boots high top sneakers i call it boots was the shape of the last so unless you're involved in sneaker making you won't really understand how difficult it is to get a custom last unless you are willing to buy 10,000 pairs of shoes so it's not like dress shoes where you you start with the last in sneakers you start with the sole so the sole is the main component and they build last to fit the soles um and so for some odd reason many uh manufacturers just have very basic shaped round toed sneaker soles now i like things that are a little bit more refined a little bit more sleek narrow and so i really loved the shape on that toe because it reminded me of a dress shoes shape and i like things sleek even my sneakers so I was really attracted to that, uh, the shape. And I know that Christoph worked hard on that because being a last maker himself, that is something truly important to him. Shape is key in footwear. Ugly shape creates ugly shoes. Elegant shape creates elegant shoes. So I really love that. I love that the fact that it's black nubuck. I easily wear black. Little touch of color makes it even cooler for me uh spice up your black a little bit uh sorry i'm just trying to think of other things i love that he also did a black sole which is interesting the side of it has like a crepe like look but it's not crepe at all the bottom has a very classic kind of cool sneaker sole tread nice and durable but also i feel it quite like not soft but you know not Rubber can be quite rigid and not comfortable, but this looks like it has some nice give. Just a cool sneaker. Cool design, very simple. It's got a subtle cap toe stitch on it um, with two pieces, two large pieces in the face, and that goes all the way up. A very interesting kind of uh, eyelid design. If you look closely, every single eyelid is in... A slightly different place uh she excuse me you got two four four two and so the, these two are in the same place these four in the same place those four in the same place and these two are in the same place same place meaning like in a in a vertical in a yeah in a line but it's not just you know all of them in an equal kind of separation line no this took a little bit of thought because he has an interesting cut here and and so because he made an interesting cut you got to move the the laces also when you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve eyelets at the same time there are kind of pattern uh how do you call it the rules of the pattern to balance it to make it be able to lace easily so these little subtle design things that you don't you may not notice but that visually attract you to the pair um got his logo there on the tongue anyway super cool pair of sneakers uh 
I'm not going to lie. He, uh, it's an insult to Kristoff, but when I first saw these, it reminded me of Ed Hardy sneakers, which for those of you that are my, around my age or older, you might remember Ed Hardy, who was a tattoo guy who came out with high tops with tattoo style designs on them. They were pretty cool. I can't remember how many pairs I owned. I went through a phase of wearing a few of those. They were mainly high tops. And while this is not in comparison on a quality level, just that kind of uh, idea of a high top with some kind of tattoo embroider, some kind of visual artwork there, as opposed to just plain or different pieces of leather or two-tone color, uh, it, 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 it made me remember that time, but to a 50 million times better degree. You know, this is a nice, beautiful, solid, well-made pair um so yes these are for sale you're probably wondering about price about make about everything about size uh they are made in portugal but designed in france uh atelier du Tran tranche is from paris um that's where you'll find their shop uh, so designed in paris made in portugal lining is super high quality what you'd find in the highest dress shoes uh, they say vegetable tan lining. This is a really nice new buck. Um, the price for those of you inside of Europe is 850 euros. For those of you outside of Europe, it's 708 euros. So around $750 for those of you in the US. I know many of you are thinking that's very expensive, but you know, so are a pair of crappy Lambon sneakers. And these are well made. Uh, with a lot more thought put into them. Alas, like you won't find in many other sneakers. So if you're like me and you like things that are more slim and elegant, uh, that's beautiful last for a sneaker. Now, sizing. They only come in whole sizes. I believe he goes from, I don't want to misquote. Definitely at least down to, I think I saw 38 to 49. It's got a huge size range, but whole sizes only. Uh, Pierre ended up sending, excuse me, Pierre. I'm so used to thinking about Pierre Corte. Christophe ended up sending me a 41. I am a 41 narrow, but these fit loose. Uh, I probably would have been better off in a 40. Um, I can wear these with some thick socks and maybe a small insole, but, uh, I'm just wondering if you fall in between sizes, unless you like your sneakers a little big, if you like your shoes tight, I'd bump down. I like my shoes tight. 40 would have been bang on for me. 41, I'll make do. Uh, but yeah, do bear that in mind. But for those of you with large feet, they go up to a 49, which I believe is around a 15. Uh, so there's options for you. And Maybe anything above that can be done, maybe more on a custom level. I'm not sure because I didn't ask that question. But uh, anyway, yeah, super cool sneakers. I actually can't wait to wear these. These are pretty, these are right up my alley. It's a little different. It's a little urban. It's a little modern. Uh, but I don't think it's so wild that I wouldn't pull it off. You know, I love jeans. I can wear these with jeans all day long. Anyway, super cool stuff. Really, uh, really grateful that Christoph wanted to send a pair. I love cool sneakers. I'm not going to lie. I don't like all the stuff that you buy from the designers and all that. But I like, you know, sneakers in the higher end industry that are doing things that are different. So different, but within reason. So the other shoes he has, which are really cool, just not for me. Uh, you should definitely check them out if you're a sneakerhead and you like things that you've never seen before because the other ones are on a whole nother level. But these are more subtle, more sleek, and uh, I think they're really cool. If you think they're cool too, definitely check them out. You know, I'll post the links. Uh, just trying to give you all the angles here. Can't really fault anything. The make is phenomenal. Everything looks tip top. Really well done pair of sneakers. Some of you may have feelings about Portuguese made shoes, but Portuguese sneakers are pretty darn good. Um, everybody loves to say Italian this, Italian that, but I'm not going to lie. Some of the best sneakers I've seen coming out of Portugal. So 
anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed checking out some new stuff. I got a ton of unboxing videos, actually. You know, I kind of go through these periods where I uh, don't do some for a while, so I save them all up and hit them all out. So stay tuned as I got more coming. Definitely check Christophe Corte's brand out, Atelier du Tranché, making some very wild stuff. Uh, very cool. So for those of you that like Unique and got all your other bases covered, check them out. Thanks as always for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, and help spread the love on good quality shoes. Thank you very much. Bye.